NBA history and a look at a couple of MVP candidates. Joel Embiid and that guy, Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics, both top five in MVP odds right now. Let's take a little inventory in the Eastern Conference. Boston has been the best team in the NBA for most of the season so far, but Philadelphia right now just two games back in the loss column, a pivotal game tonight in the Eastern Conference. Hello, everybody, I'm Mark Jones, chopping it up with Jeff Van Gundy, Cassidy Hubbard joining us in just a bit. Let's start with the Boston Celtics. They seem, Jeff, like they're intent on getting back to the NBA Finals this year and finishing the job this time and they don't appear to be skipping any steps all you have to do is look at the leadership and the play of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown well they're continuing to get better and better even this deep into their career you look up at their career highs from this year and what this points to is a driven twosome that is hell-bent on improvement and it's being shown throughout the season. Tatum in particular, he can hurt you in so many ways. Pick and roll scoring. Then he can overpower smaller players in the low post when they get a, a favorable switch. But it's at the defensive end, to me, what separates him from so many of the volume scores. His impact and his nightly intensity set him apart and make him one of the most valuable players in the league. Yeah, his burgeoning leadership continues to get better. Meanwhile, hey, the Philadelphia 76ers have been road warriors. They've won eight of nine on the road coming into this game tonight. And as we take a look at our greatest delivery brought to you by DoorDash, MVP candidate Joel Embiid is a lethal finisher in the pick and roll and just happened to be leading the league in the end scoring too, Jeff. Well, you look at these numbers, they're absolutely phenomenal. Two years in a row averaging over 30. And when you're on the list with Will, Kareem, Bob McAdoo, and yourself, you've done something very, very special. And where they have a chance is the synergy in the pick and roll game between Harden and Embiid. Everyone knows about Harden's ability to score, but it's his ability to draw that second defender and get Embiid spot up shots like that. Rolling baskets all the way to the rim that absolutely make them a title contending team. And be literally putting Harden and his teammates on his back this year as we go to Cassidy for more. Cass? Yeah, Mark, and something to keep in mind, James Harden is the second closest active player to LeBron James on the all-time scoring list. He's a generational scorer, that according to our Doc Rivers, but this season he has made a major adjustment to being a, more of a playmaker and the number two option to Joel Embiid. So Doc's saying, quote, most people can't do that or will not do that is a better way of saying it and the fact that he's willingly doing it running the team organizing us it's huge and Harden's pursuit of his first championship is his number one motivator right now and he told our Ramona Shelburne that this team is the best chance he's had to win in his career and Joel feels the same saying this year's team is the best and deepest he's been on in his seven seasons at Philadelphia so we'll see if the potential pans out but Harden making himself fit in the puzzle has this team believing Mark. Might this be the year that James Harden finally achieves that postseason breakthrough? Right now, it's Celtics Sixers, second run of the season between these two teams. We're going to take a short break and come right back after this. NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by DoorDash, the official partner of the NBA. Score one for the neighborhood. Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. Something special is going to happen. This is Boston Philly. I mean, you know, it doesn't matter what has happened before. This is like 0-0 when we play. You've never been in a rivalry no. like this one. No. I had to worry about the Celtics. These guys wanted to win every game. It was like two titans of the game meeting. He put a hammer check over his fan choice. Hammer check stole the ball. It's not over. They were the two best teams in the league. Those are the fun games. Those are the games I enjoy playing. You have to bring the ambulance. There's going to be bodies screwed all over. A fight is broken out on the court. Uh, they always kick ass. It's the best rivalry, I think, in professional sports. The healthy scene for a league to have a rivalry like that. Don't push me because I'm close to the edge. The tradition in which this great rivalry has been played will live on as long as there are teams in Boston and in Philadelphia. I'm trying. 
my head. <laughs> 76ers against the Celtics. Welcome, everyone, to NBA Wednesday presented by State Farm. Through the years, that rivalry is tantamount to basketball utopia for hoop heads. Through the generations, we've had Irving against Bird, Iverson against Pierce, and today's present version, just as compelling, Tatum and Embiid. Welcome everyone inside TD Garden as we take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Brown Royal Philadelphia with its 16th different starting lineup of the season. Harden, DeAnthony Melton, Harris, P.J. Tucker, and Joel Embiid, the NBA's leading scorer at the five for the 76ers. Meanwhile, for Boston, they're shorthanded tonight. We'll tell you more on that in a minute. White and Brown in the backcourt. Jason Tatum, Grant Williams up front, along with Blake Griffin, who's making his 10th start of the season. Those are the Brown Royal Apple starting lights. Oh. Philadelphia 76ers coming off the loss a couple of nights ago against the New York Knicks, hoping to recruit. James Harden leading the NBA in assists. And Joel Embiid against his 